First Schedule, Counties. Article 6 Clause 1. 1. Mombasa. 2. Kual. 3. Kilafi. 4. Tana River. 5. Lamu. 6. Tata Tavta. 7. Garissa. 8. Wajar. 9. Mandara. 10. Marsabit. 11. Isholo. 12. Meru. 13. Farakanithi. 14. Hamu. 15. Kitu. 16. Machikas. 17. Makuni. 18. Nyandarwa. 19. Nari. 20. Kiriniga. 21. Murangs. 22. Kiamu. 23. Turkana. 24. West Pakat. 25. Sanbu. 26. Trans Nzoa. 27. Waisin Gishu. 28. Elja Maraquet. 29. Nandi. 30. Baringo. 31. Lake Ipia. 32. Naku. 33. Narak. 34. Kijado. 35. Kariko. 36. Pumat. 37. Kakamaga. 38. Vega. 39. Vangoma. 40. Pusha. 41. Sia. 42. Kisamu. 43. Homa Bay. 44. Migari. 45. Kishi. 46. Nyamara. 47. Nairobi City. Second Schedule. National Symbols. Article 9 Clause 2. The National Flag. Note. All dimensions given do not necessarily represent any particular measurement and are merely proportional. Description. Three major strips of equal width colored from top to bottom black, red and green and separated by narrow white strips, with a symmetrical shield and white spear superimposed centrally. The National Anthem in English. Verse 1. O God of all creation, bless this our land and nation. Justice be our shield and defender. May we dwell in unity, peace and liberty. Plenty be found within our borders. Verse 2. Let one and all rise, with hearts both strong and true. Service be our earnest endeavor, and our homeland of Kenya, heritage of splendor, for may we stand to defend. Verse 3. Let all with one accord, in common bond united, build this our nation together, and the glory of Kenya, the fruit of our labor, fill every heart with thanksgiving. Mstari wa moja, e mungu nguvu yetu, ile tibaraka kwetu. Ahaki iwe nao na mlinzi, na tukaye na mbubu, amani na uhuru. Anada hatupati na ustawi, mstari wa bili, amke ni ndugu zetu, tufanye zote bidii. Nasi, tujitoe kwa nguvu, mshietu ya Kenya, tunayoipenda, tuwe tayari kuilinda, mstari wa tatu, na tujende chaifaletu. Eh, ndi wajibu wetu, Kenya istahili heshima, punga ni mikono. Amoja kazini, kila siku tuwe na shukrani. The Code of Arms The Public Seal Third Schedule, National Oaths and Affirmations Articles 74, 141 Clause 3, 148 Clause 5 and or clause 4, oath or solemn affirmation of allegiance of the president acting president and the deputy president, I, the, in full realization of the high calling I assume as president acting president deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, do we solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, preserve, protect and defend this constitution of Kenya, as by law established and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity and dignity of the people of Kenya, 
In the case of an oath so help me God, oath or solemn affirmation of due execution of office for the president acting president, I, Sui solemnly affirm that I will truly and diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the President Acting President of the Republic of Kenya, that I will diligently discharge my duties and perform my functions in the office of President Acting President of the Republic of Kenya, and I will do justice to all in accordance with this Constitution, as by law established, and the laws of Kenya, without fear, favor, affection or ill will. In the case of an oath so help me God, oath or solemn affirmation of due execution of office for the deputy president, I do swear solemnly affirm that I will always truly and diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, that I will diligently discharge my duties and perform my functions in the said office, to the best of my judgment, that I will at all times, when so required, faithfully and truly give my counsel and advice to the President of the Republic of Kenya, that I will do justice to all without fear, favor, affection or ill will, and that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy. In the case of an oath so help me God, oath or solemn affirmation of due execution of office for Cabinet Secretary, I, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do we solemnly affirm that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of a Cabinet Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. In the case of an oath so help me God, oath or solemn affirmation of due execution of office for secretary to the cabinet of principal secretary, I being called on to exercise the functions of secretary to the cabinet of principal secretary, do we solemnly affirm that, except with the authority of the president, I will not directly or indirectly reveal the nature or contents of any business, proceedings or document of the cabinet committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as secretary to the cabinet such principal secretary, in the case of an oath so help me God. Oaths for the Chief Justice President of the Supreme Court, Judges of the Supreme Court, Judges of the Court of Appeal and Judges of the High Court. I, the Chief Justice President of the Supreme Court, a Judge of the Supreme Court, a Judge of the Court of Appeal, a Judge of the High Court, do swear in the name of the Almighty God solemnly affirm to diligently serve the people in the Republic of Kenya and to impartially do justice in accordance with this constitution as by law established, and the laws and customs of the Republic, without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice or any political, religious or other influence, in the exercise of the judicial functions entrusted to me, I will at all times, and the Constitution of Kenya 173 to the best of my knowledge and ability. Protect, administer and defend this Constitution with a view to upholding the dignity and the respect for the judiciary and the judicial system of Kenya and promoting fairness, independence, competence and integrity within it. So help me God. Oath Affirmation of Member of Parliament Senate National Assembly. I. Having been elected a member of the Senate National Assembly do swear in the name of the Almighty God, solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the people and the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, uphold, preserve, protect and defend this Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, and that I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge the duties of a member of Parliament. So help me God. Oath for Speaker Deputy Speaker of the Senate National Assembly. I, having been elected as Speaker Deputy Speaker of the Senate National Assembly do swear in the name of the Almighty God, solemnly affirm, 
that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the people and the Republic of Kenya, that I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge my duties as Speaker Deputy Speaker of the Senate National Assembly, that I will obey, respect, uphold, preserve, protect and defend this Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, and that I will do right to all manner of persons in accordance with this Constitution of Kenya and the laws and conventions of Parliament without fear or favor, a faction or ill will so help me God. Fourth Schedule, Distribution of Functions Between the National Government and the County Governments Article 185 Clause 2, 186 Clause 1, and 187 Clause 2, Part or National Government, 1. Foreign Affairs, Foreign Policy and International Trade, 2. The Use of International Waters and Water Resources, 3. Immigration and Citizenship, 4. The Relationship between Religion and State, 5. Language Policy in the Promotion of Official and Local Languages, 6. National Defense and the Use of the National Defense Services, 7. Police Services, including a the setting of standards of recruitment, training of police and use of police services, b. Criminal law, and c. Correctional services, 8. Courts, 9. National economic policy and planning, 10. Monetary policy, currency, banking including central banking, the incorporation and regulation of banking, insurance and financial corporations, 11. National Statistics and Data on Population, the Economy and Society Generally, 12. Intellectual Property Rights, 13. Labor Standards, 14. Consumer Protection, including Standards for Social Security and Professional Pension Plans, 15. Education Policy, Standards, Curricula, Examinations and the Granting of University Charters, 16. Universities, tertiary educational institutions and other institutions of research and higher learning and primary schools, special education, secondary schools and special education institutions, 17. Promotion of sports and sports education, 18. Transport and communications, including, in particular, a road traffic, b. The construction and operation of national trunk roads, c. Standards for the construction and maintenance of other roads by counties, D. Railways, E. Pipelines, F. Marine navigation, G. Civil aviation, H. Space travel, I. Postal services, J. Telecommunications, and K. Radio and television broadcasting, 19. National public works, 20. Housing policy, 21. General Principles of Land Planning and the Coordination of Planning by the Counties. 22. Protection of the Environment and Natural Resources with a view to establishing a durable and sustainable system of development, including, in particular, fishing, hunting and gathering, b. Protection of animals and wildlife, c. Water protection, securing sufficient residual water, hydraulic engineering and the safety of dams, and d. Energy policy, 23. National referral health facilities, 24. Disaster management, 25. Ancient and historical monuments of national importance, 26. National elections, 28. Health policy, 29. Agricultural policy, 30. Veterinary policy, 31. Energy policy including electricity and gas reticulation and energy regulation. 32. Capacity building and technical assistance to the counties. 33. Public investment. 34. National bedding, casinos and other forms of gambling. 35. Tourism policy and development. Part county governments. The functions and powers of the county are. 1. Agriculture including a crop and animal husbandry b livestock sale yards c county abatures d plant and animal disease control and e fisheries 2 county health services including in particular a 
County Health Facilities and Pharmacies B. Ambulance Services C. Promotion of Primary Health Care D. Licensing and Control of Undertakings that Sell Food to the Public E. Veterinary Services Excluding Regulation of the Profession F. Cemeteries Funeral Parlors and Crematoria NG. Refuse Removal Refuse Dumps and Solid Waste Disposal Three. Control of Air Pollution Noise Pollution Other Public Nuisances and Outdoor Advertising 4. Cultural Activities Public Entertainment and Public Amenities Including a. Betting Casinos and Other Forms of Gambling b. Racing c. Liquor Licensing d. Cinemas e. Video Shows and Hiring f. Libraries g. Museums, H. Sports and Cultural Activities and Facilities, NI. County Parks, Beaches and Recreation Facilities. 5. County Transport, including A. County Roads, B. Street Lighting, C. Traffic and Parking, D. Public Road Transport, and E. Ferries and Harbors excluding the regulation of international and national shipping and matters related thereto. 6. Animal control and welfare, including a. Licensing of dogs, and b. Facilities for the accommodation, care and burial of animals. 7. Trade development and regulation, including a. Markets, b. Trade licenses excluding regulation of professions, c. Fair trading practices, d local tourism, and e. Cooperative societies. 8. County planning and development, including a. Statistics, b. Land survey and mapping, c. Boundaries and fencing, d. Housing, and e. Electricity and gas reticulation and energy regulation. 9. Pre-primary education, village polytechnics, home craft centers and child care facilities. 10. Implementation of specific national government policies on natural resources and environmental conservation, including a. Soil and water conservation, and b. Forestry. 11. County public works and services, including a. Storm water management systems in build-up areas, and b. Water and sanitation services. 12. Firefighting services and disaster management. 13. Control of drugs and pornography. 14. Ensuring and coordinating the participation of communities and locations in governance at the local level and assisting communities and locations to develop the administrative capacity for the effective exercise of the functions and powers and participation in governance at the local level.